Hello student, today we are going to discuss about class 12 physics NCRT exercise problem 11th chapter 9th problem we are going to discuss ok. Actually the question is given it's class 12 term 2 question we are going to discuss ok. Actually the question is given as a work function is given in the question ok. Wavelength of the incident light also is given ok. They asked whether the kinetic energy the electron will be emit or not ok. So the electron will be emit or not this is a question ok. Now we will see how to solve this problem ok. So incident light energy no, should be more than the work function ok. So first we will see how many joules is the work function 4.2 EV ok electron volt. So 4.2 into 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joules. Why sir you are doing this value multiplying because electron volt to the joules if you want to convert multiple this value that is it very simple. So, 4.2, 1.6, what I can get now? For, it's going to be a 4.2 and 1.6, so 42 into 16, okay. So, which I am going to get as a 252 and de denominator will be the, this value is a 42, okay. Just 6 times multiple, then 1 times you will multiple 2, 7, uh, 6, okay. Uh, here 1 decimal, here 1 decimal, 2 decimal is there, 6.72 into 10 power minus 19 joules. Okay, this is a work function. Okay, the incident light now should be more than this value. Then only the electron will be emit from the metal surface. Okay, they asked whether it will be emit or not. Okay, now we will see what is the energy of the incident light. Energy for the incident light. Okay, yeah, at the frequency. Okay, frequency which is not given in the question. Okay, if you want frequency, it's a c divided by lambda. Velocity by wavelength C at C by lambda. Totally energy of the incident light we can get as a Planck constant, velocity of the light and wavelength. Okay. Now what is Planck constant? It is a very simple Planck constant 6.63 into 10 power minus 34. Okay. What is the velocity of the light 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second? What is the wavelength 330 into nanometer? 330, 330 nanometer. 1 nanometer is 10 power minus 9 meter. Okay, that is it. We are going to get the answer. 3 tables here if you are cancelling 110 will get minus 9 you are if you are taken as numerator plus 9 will get 6.63 into 10 power minus 34 into 10 power plus 8 into 10 power plus 9. Okay, this together no. 9 plus 8 power directly you can add. 9 plus 8 how much we can get? 17. Okay, denominator 110 is there. Okay, I want to make it this as a round number. Just 100 on numerator. 100 on denominator, just a multiplication. Multiplication of two things will give 663. Denominator will be 11000. Okay, into 10 power minus 34 into this together will give us a 10 power plus 17. Okay. Uh, next uh, next step now we can get as a final value. Okay. 301230 10 power plus 3 you can write. Okay. So 663 divided by 11 into 10 power plus 3. Okay, into 10 power minus 34 plus 17. Okay, 34 plus 17, what I can get? Uh, see, just a subtraction. Okay, 2, 4, 7, 1, minus 17. Okay, so 663 divided by 11 into 10 power minus 17. Okay, because uh, 34 and 17, so minus 34 is there. So, I will get as a minus 17. Okay, from denominator to numerator, this 1000 I am taken, that is going to be 10 power plus 3 will become as a minus 3. This two together will become as a 10 power minus 20. Uh, where I got this uh, 10 power plus 3? Because of this three zeros only, I wrote here it is a 10 power plus 3. Okay, 11 table 6 will be, uh, 66 will be 1 times. Okay, again 3 times I'm, I won't get 0 I am writing. Okay, uh, it is going to be a, sorry, 11 table 66 will be 6 times. Okay. 0 I won't get 0 0.03, 22 I will get as a 2 times. So, till this much is n of 60.2 into 10 power minus 20. Okay, I want to move one decimal this side. Okay, just what I am doing now 60.2 into 10 power minus 1 into 10 power plus 1 into 10 power minus 20. You can ask me one more question. Why sir you included this? Because this value is going to be called as a 1. Okay, if you uh, I want to move the decimal directly also you can you, you can move it. Okay. Uh, so, this together will give us a 1 decimal, I can move this side, so 66.02 into 10 power, this together will give us a minus 19, okay. When you want to reduce a negative power, no, you can move the decimal this side, okay. Uh, if you want to move decimal this side, as, you have to increase as a negative power, okay. 
so finally i got as a energy for incident light is going to be a 6.02 into 10 power minus 19 joules okay already we have the work function 6.72 into 10 power minus 19 joules okay so energy for incident light is less than the work function of the uh, metal okay work function of the metal so when this condition is there is not going to emit the electron from the metal surface thank you for watching my channel if you like my channel please subscribe thank you everyone